In the 1960s, Chicanos were looking for a form of identity. One Chicano known as Rodolfo Gonzalez brought in the idea of Atzlan in El Plan Espiritual de Atzlan. At first, it was an idea that united many Chicano writers by providing them with an identity of history from what once was an indigenous land before it was taken from Mexico and made American. Gonzalez states, Aslan belongs to those who plant the seed, water the fields, and gather the crops, and not to the foreign Europeans. La Raza defines Aslan as the northern land for Chicanos. The problem was that it only represented males at first. Eventually, with time, this ideology expanded to support feminism expression against oppression from race, gender, and social class. Now is the time for the revolution. Art was used for many reasons in Chicano communities. It was useful for organizing communities, taking matters into economical issues, and even engaging Chicanos in national politics. Yolanda Lopez is one of the early Chicana artists to be known. Her art has caused people to react strongly on her work, especially in the Catholic religion. Some of her famous art pieces are the three Guadalupe pieces. The first one is a young lady conquering the world. The second is an older chubby lady who is a hard worker. And last is the elderly lady who shows strength while she holds a knife to prove that she is liberal. Let's take this party to the combat zone. Paul Volteo is another creative artist who speaks politically to the Chicano culture with his drawings. He isn't always optimistic in his murals. Some actually express the good and the bad about the topic he is drawing. For example, the following image shows how the future could be better or worse. In conclusion, art has become a way of expression to Chicanos in order to define the beliefs of Atzlan to unite the Chicanos. Love.